Good morning, students. This is Caroline, your GK teacher. I hope all of you are doing good. Today we are going to learn a new chapter that is rights and responsibilities. All children have rights and those rights must be protected. So children, today we are going to learn more of rights and responsibilities for children. So please listen carefully. Students, now take out your GK textbook and go to page number 73. Rights and responsibilities. First of all, let us learn where does rights and responsibilities comes from. It is said that the Convention on the Rights of the Child is a set of rights that countries have agreed to give to their children, but along with rights comes responsibilities or duties. Have you got my point? Everyone under 18 years of age has all the rights in this convention. Also applies to everyone that whatever their race, religions, abilities, whatever they think or say, or whatever type of family they come from. To understand it clearly, let us learn what does rights and responsibilities mean. A right is something you should do or must have something you should expect to have, and something you deserve. Also, a right is something you need according to nature or the law. Whereas, a responsibility is something you must do and expected to do for yourself or others. A responsibility is a choice that you make. Together, let us learn some of the rights and responsibilities that I have given here. You have the right to a safe environment. You have the responsibility to follow safety rules. You have the right to voice your opinion. You have the responsibility to respect the opinions of others. You have the right to use school books, materials, and equipment. And you have the responsibility to take care of all school materials. You have the right to fair treatment. You have the responsibility to treat others fairly. You have the right to a good education. Where you have the responsibility to do your best. So students, how can we show that we are responsible? Why is it important to be responsible? And how can we take care of the environment? It is very simple. Everything you do is based on the choices you make. It is not your parents, your past, your job, your economy, the weather, an argument, where you live or your age that is to be blamed. You, only you are responsible for every decision and every choice that you make. We shall learn some more rights and responsibilities for children. Children have the right to be protected from conflict, cruelty, exploitation and neglect and the responsibility not to bully or harm each other. Children have the right to a clean environment, at home, at school, or wherever they are, and the responsibility to do what they can to look after the environment. Children have the right to be educated, and the responsibility to learn as much as they can and help others to learn. Children have the right to freedom of thought and religion and the responsibility to respect other people's thoughts and religions. Students, are you understanding to what I am saying? For example, you have your own home, and that is your right, but your responsibility is to keep your home clean. Or like, you have the right to help if you have been hurt, so what will be your responsibility? Yes, your responsibility is to keep yourself away from dangers and other unsafe situations. Also, what is your responsibility when you get food? Yes, it is your responsibility to eat foods which will help and keep you healthy. Now, let us learn the child rights in India, as it is very important. The 54 articles can be broadly grouped under four heads, where they are right to survival, right to development, right to protection, and right to participation. 
under right to survival, we have right to be born, right to minimum standards of food, shelter, and clothing, right to live with dignity. Whereas right to protection, we have right to be protected from all sorts of violence and right to be protected from neglect. The next is right to participation and under this we have right to freedom of opinion, right to freedom of expression. Lastly, right to development and under this right to development we have right to education, right to learn, right to relax and play. Thus, these are the child rights in India. So students, do keep in mind and try to learn from it as it is very important. I hope all of you have learned and understood this chapter very clearly. Coming to the exercises, now take out the GK notebook and on top of it write page number 73. The topic is rights and responsibilities. Write down A. Match the rights to the responsibilities to get to know both better. Before you start writing, draw columns and rows like it is shown here. And on top of it, write children have rights to. And in next column, write children have the responsibilities to. 1. Have enough and nutritious food. Not to waste food. 2. Relax, play and participate in lots of activities. Include everyone in their activities fairly and respectfully. 3. Be heard. Listen to others. 4. Be protected from violence, cruelty and neglect. Not to harm, hurt or bully each other. 5. Good and quick medical care. Be hygienic and take care of themselves. 6. Live in a clean environment. Reduce, reuse and recycle. 7. Be educated. Learn as much as they can. 8. Be respected. Show respect to others. 9. Follow their religious beliefs. Respect the religious beliefs of others. 10. Special care for special needs. Be the best that they can be. So students, this is your work for today. And please do write it neat and clean. And after finish writing, draw blue and red lines with the help of scale. And with this, we have come to the end of today's class. Thank you and stay safe.